Resident Evil is a film series loosely based upon the Capcom video games of the same name. Constantin Film bought rights to the first film in January 1997 with Alan B. McElroy and George A. Romero as potential writers. In 2001, Sony acquired distribution rights to the film and hired Paul W. S. Anderson as writer and director for the first film. Anderson continued on as writer and producer for the sequels, Resident Evil, Apocalypse and Resident Evil, Extinction, and returned as the director for Resident Evil, Afterlife and Resident Evil, Retribution. The Umbrella Corporation acts as the main antagonist in the series, a bioengineering pharmaceutical company responsible for the zombie apocalypse as a result of creating the T-Virus. The films follow protagonist Alice, an original character created for the films portrayed by Miller Jova Beach, who was once a security operative working for Umbrella and became the enemy of the corporation. Characters from the Resident Evil video games also make an appearance in the film series, including Jill Valentine, Carlos Oliveira, Claire Reedfield, Albert Wesker, Chris Reedfield, Barry Burton, Leon S. Kennedy and Ada Wong. With five films released, the Resident Evil film series is the highest grossing film series to be based on video games of all time, having grossed 915 million US dollars worldwide. It is set to continue with a sixth and final film, written by Anderson. Films, Resident Evil In January 1997, Constantin Film acquired the rights to the Resident Evil franchise with Alan B. McElroy writing the script. By 2001, Columbia TRI Star was in final negotiations to acquire North American distribution rights to Resident Evil and budgeted the movie at $40 million. George A. Romero was hired by Sony and Capsom to direct and write Resident Evil. His script was later rejected and he was ultimately dropped. Capsom producer Yoshiki Okamoto stated that Romero's script wasn't good, so Romero was fired. Paul W. S. Anderson was then hired by Sony to write a screenplay and in late 2000, Anderson was announced as director and writer. Anderson stated the film would not include any tie-ins with the video game series as underperforming movie tie-ins are too common and Resident Evil, of all games, deserved a good celluloid representation. In 2001, Miller Jova Beach was cast as Alice, the protagonist of the film. In the film, the Umbrella Corporation operates a top-secret genetic research facility named The Hive. Located deep beneath Raccoon City, The Hive has been sealed by the Red Queen due to the release of the T-Virus into the facility. The Red Queen kills every living thing in the facility to ensure the T-Virus doesn't reach the surface, but the T-Virus reanimates them transforming the humans into ravenous zombies and the animals into highly aggressive mutants. Alice was once a security operative working for the corporation until her memory was wiped by the Red Queen's nerve gas. As the team attempts to escape the hive, an umbrella test subject called the Licker escapes and pursues the team. When they reach the train that leads them to the exit, the Licker attacks and scratches Matt before Alice can kill it. When they reach the surface, Matt is taken away by Umbrella workers and he eventually transforms into Nemesis. Alice wakes from a coma to a ravaged raccoon city after a T-virus outbreak. Resident Evil, Apocalypse The sequel to the first film began production in 2003 after the success of the first film. Anderson returned as the writer but due to his work on Alien vs. Predator, he did not direct the film. In the film, the viral outbreak reaches the surface and in an effort to contain the infection, Mayor Timothy Kane seals all exits to and from Raccoon City. Among the people trapped in the city are Jill Valentine and her partner Peyton Wells. After Alice awakens from her coma, she rescues Jill and Peyton from a group of lickers who escaped the hive. They are then contacted by Dr. Charles Ashford who claims to know of an evacuation point in the city in exchange for the rescue of his daughter Angela Ashford who is trapped in Raccoon City. The group also learns Umbrella plans to incinerate Raccoon City to get rid of the T-Virus. On their way to rescue Angela, Nemesis attacks the team after it is commanded by Kane to kill all STARS members. After Angela's rescue, they then make their way to the evacuation helicopter with Carlos Oliveira, who has been dropped into Raccoon City and abandoned by Umbrella. After Alice's confrontation with Kane and Nemesis, 
which leaves the latter two dead, the team flies away from Raccoon City as it is being sanitized by a nuclear bomb. The helicopter crashes in the Arclay Mountains. A wounded Alice is the only person found by an umbrella search team. She is taken to the Detroit Umbrella Research Station. When Alice awakens, she escapes the facility and displays extraordinary powers. She is then driven away by Jill and Carlos, who are disguised as umbrella employees. As they drive away, the umbrella logo flashes in Alice's eyes, and Isaac's computer states Project Alice activated. Resident Evil Extinction In November 2005, Screen Gems gained the rights for the third film in the franchise, which was then named Resident Evil Afterlife. Anderson returned as a writer and filming took place in Mexico. The film was released on September 21, 2007. In the film, the world has been consumed by the T-Virus and Umbrella develops clones of Alice in hopes of finding one who displays Alice's powers. Elsewhere, Claire Reedfield leads a convoy of survivors across the Nevada desert, including Raccoon City survivors Oliveira and L.J. Wayne. Alice roams the country for survivors. After failing to find any living people, she comes into contact with Reedfield's convoy after she rescues them from crows using her superhuman abilities. The convoy, along with Alice, heads to Las Vegas to gather supplies so they can reach Alaska in an effort to get to a place called Arcadia, thought to be a safe haven. While there, they are attacked by super zombies who kill most of the convoy. After Wayne is bitten and hides his infection from the rest of the group, he transforms and bites Oliviera. Isaacs himself is bitten and in an effort to cure himself, injects himself with large doses of the antivirus which causes him to transform into a tyrant. Reedfield leaves for Alaska, while Alice stays behind to confront Isaacs. While searching the facility for Isaacs, she discovers that she was cloned. After Alice defeats Isaacs, contacts Umbrella and warns them that she is coming for them and that she will be bringing the clones with her to fight them. Resident Evil Afterlife. Before the third installment had been released, Constantin prepared to release a fourth film in the series. A film was set in Japan and filmed in 3D with the fusion camera system developed by James Cameron and Vince Pace for the 2009 film Avatar. Set after the events of Extinction, Alice and her clones attack the Umbrella Station in Tokyo. Wesker escapes and destroys the facility, killing the clones. Wesker is confronted by Alice aboard his helicopter. He injects Alice with a serum that removes her superhuman abilities. The helicopter crashes, and only Alice is seen emerging from the rubble. After months of a failed aerial search for other survivors, Alice heads toward the supposed location of Arcadia. She lands on an airfield in Alaska, where she finds Claire in a different state. Claire has an umbrella device attached to her chest and her memory has been wiped. Claire and Alice fly to Los Angeles where they stumble upon a prison where they met Luther West and Chris Reedfield, Claire's brother. The survivors explain that Arcadia is a tanker off the coast which has been broadcasting a looped message and is picking up survivors. During an attempted escape, Alice, Claire and Chris are the only ones to emerge and they reach the tanker only to find it abandoned. Claire's memory begins to return when she remembers Umbrella workers attacking her group of survivors and removing them to the tanker. The ship is an Umbrella research facility which is conducting experiments on the survivors. The three then meet Wesker, who has been granted superhuman abilities due to the T-virus. After the fight, Alice transmits a message to survivors calling them to the tanker and hopes to create a new and true safe haven. A fleet of Umbrella Corporation aircraft led by Valentine prepares to lead an assault on the survivors. Resident Evil, Retribution Written and directed by Anderson, Retribution was planned to be filmed back-to-back -back with a sixth installment, but Anderson decided to focus on the fifth film filming took place in Toronto, Ontario from mid-October to December 23, 2011. Colin Salmon who played Juan and Michelle Rodriguez who played Reino Campo in the first film returned. Odid Fu who portrayed Carlos Oliveira in the second and third film also returned. Three characters from the video games made their debut in the film series, Johan Ob as Leon S. Kennedy, Kevin Durand as Barry Burton and Lee Bingbing as Ada Wong. 
it was released internationally on September 14, 2012. In the film, after having been captured at the Arcadia, Alice experiences a dream sequence or hallucination where she is the wife of Carlos Oliveira and has daughter named Becky, and their suburban home is overrun by zombies. Alice awakens in an umbrella base. Jill Valentine interrogates Alice, who unsuccessfully pleads with her to remember her true identity. During a power failure orchestrated by Ada Wong, Alice escapes from her cell and encounters her. Ada explains that she and Wesker are no longer working for Umbrella. Wesker plans to aid Alice's escape and battle the base's supercomputer Red Queen, in order to save what's left of mankind. Wesker has organized a team of freelance operatives to infiltrate the base and help Alice and Ada escape, including Leon S. Kennedy, Barry Burton, and Luther West. Along the way, Alice finds a clone of a young girl named Becky, who believes Alice is her mother. They also face clone versions of Carlos Oliveira, Juan, and Reino Campo, who are all under the direction of Valentine. After Alice meets up with the rescue team, Valentine's soldiers catch up to them, causing a shootout that kills Burton, Oliveira and Juan. Alice, West, Kennedy, and Becky reach the surface and are met by a submarine, from which Valentine, the clone Rain, and a captured aide emerge. With new orders from the Red Queen to kill Alice, Valentine battles Alice while Rain fights Kennedy and West. Alice manages to remove the scarab device from Valentine, returning her back to normal. Alice joins Kennedy in defeating Rain. Alice, Ada, Becky, Leon, and Valentine travel to Wesker's base. Wesker injects Alice with the T-virus, returning her former superhuman powers in order to enact his plan, then tells her that she is responsible for saving the remaining humans from extinction. Upcoming sixth film, Anderson has been confirmed to direct and write the sixth film in the series and has stated that it will be the final film in the series at Jova Beach stated that the film will come out in 2015. According to Anderson, the film is tentatively titled as Resident Evil, the final chapter and it will follow Alice and her crew as they rush to the hive, where the Red Queen plots total destruction over the human race. The film will be filmed in 3D Jova Beach and Lee are set to reprise their roles as Alice and Wong. Cast and characters, crew, reception, box office performance, except for the first film, all the Resident Evil films opened at number one at North American box office. The series holds the record for the most live-action film adaptations of a video game in the 2012 Guinness World Records Gamers Edition. It is also the highest-grossing film series to be based on a video game. Critical response, all films received negative response from the critics. However, the Chicago Tribune declared the first film as one of the few video game movies to truly recreate the gaming experience, and the Austin Chronicle calling it an absolute wreck. But what an ambitiously mind-blowing wreck it is, bursting with dazzlingly sordid cinematography. The Seattle Times marked the second film an improvement from the original, saying the film makes up for the wretched mess that was 2002's Resident Evil. The Hollywood Reporter gave the third film a positive review stating fast-paced and filled with brisk action sequences, a film should reasonably satisfy the devotees. Michael or da plus or minus A of the Los Angeles Times gave the fourth film a positive review, claiming that the action is easier to read than in most films of the genre, and therefore more enjoyable. Anderson makes particular use of sets and locations to ring out more bang for the stereoscopic buck. Novelizations The novelizations for the first three Resident Evil films were written by Keith R. A. De Candido. The novelization for the fifth film was written by John Shirley. The fourth film did not receive a novelization. The novel for the first film titled Resident Evil, Genesis was published over two years after that film's release while the Extinction novel was released in late July 2007, two months before the film's release. There was also a Japanese novelization of the first film, unrelated to De Candido's version, written by Osamu Makino. Makino also wrote two novels based on the game Resident Evil, the Umbrella Chronicles. Capsom Films, aside from the American-produced live-action film series, Capsom have also produced CGI films which are tied to the video game series. Biohazard 4D Executor
Biohazard 4D Executor features Raccoon City, but none of the characters from the video game series are present. The short film was released in November 2000. Resident Evil, Degeneration Resident Evil, Degeneration is Capsom's first full-length feature film set in the video game series. Taking place between the events of the video games Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5, follows Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield. It was released on October 18, 2008. Resident Evil, Damnation Resident Evil, Damnation is Capsom's second full-length feature film set in the video game series. Taking place between the events of the video games Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6, follows Leon S. Kennedy and Ada Wong. It was released on September 15, 2012. References External links Resident Evil, Retribution Official Website, Resident Evil at Box Office Mojo, Resident Evil Film Series at All Movie.